So we ran a poll asking what's scarier while streaming, and the top answer was Echo that you can't find. Uh, it's totally relatable, it's super annoying, but it can usually be fixed by tweaking just a couple of settings in your Beacon app. So the first thing that we're going to do is go straight to the Beacon app, and we're going to go right to the noise suppression. Now this is going to help reduce or eliminate constant background sounds, so things like PC fans, air conditioners, and low level room noise. So in the app, you can actually adjust the amount and the sensitivity separately. Defaults for the amount usually stay around 80 and around 83 for the sensitivity. Um, if your room is a bit noisy, try increasing your sensitivity to around 90 and you'll notice that your space tightens up a little bit. Don't push it to the max, however, because then your voice will start to sound a little bit compressed. Um, and the goal is always a clean, natural sound. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is head over to the expander. Now this works a little differently than a traditional gate. Um, when sound drops below the threshold that you set, uh, the expander gradually lowers the volume of those quieter sounds instead of cutting them off completely like a gate does. So we're gonna start with the threshold first. Ideally, you wanna be speaking just above it. This way your voice can come through naturally, but softer background noise gets reduced. Uh, let's have a moment for the beacon honey. Oh. Thank you. So the next thing that we're gonna do is head over to the expand amount. Default is usually around 30. I'd say most people do well between 40 and 60%. Completely depends on the person, of course. Um, this is strong enough to reduce echo, but not so strong that it will cut off your voice. So 50 is usually a good spot to be in. And small tweaks here go a very long way. Once your threshold and your expand amounts are balanced, your stream will sound clean and professional without any extra effort. So these two settings alone can drastically tighten up your audio and clear out that echo. But if you are still hearing it, make sure to stick around for part two where I talk about how to fix audio doubling in your routing. I hope this was helpful.